<laughs> Hello, everybody. My name is Shia.、Um, I am a recent college graduate, 23 years old, working in a van remotely at a tech company for a sales role. <laughs> <laughs>、uh, hey, y'all. My name is Dylan.、Um, I'm a software engineer, also living with Shia in this van, the Oasis series、uh, from remote vans. And I've loved it so far.、Uh, we have our bunny here.、Uh, he's, not, he's not in the video, but、uh, you know, he lives with us in the van.、Um, and yeah, super excited to share the van with you guys. So I was in my last semester of college and I was deciding where to go after college. That's when I met Dylan, and Dylan was working remotely. Um, and that really made me looking forward to a future with Dylan working remotely together <laughs>、uh, while being anywhere in the world.、Um, but to just be realistic, you know, getting a job in America usually means working in the United States. So、um, I decided maybe van life is a way to do this.、Um, I wouldn't be locked down. In one city, specifically in one apartment. Instead, I will get the freedom to travel around、uh, in this country, go to a lot of places I've never been before.、Um, so, yeah, I watched a lot of van videos and ended up landing on Remote Van's page, contacted、uh, our lovely people at Remote Van, and decided to get a van. So, we're in Seattle right now.、Um, After a year in the van of just kind of going wherever the heart takes us, we have been starting to plan a little more in terms of、uh, where we want to go、uh, in what season. So we fit the kind of van life weather culture a little more、uh, and don't try to blast AC in Texas on the hottest day in the summer, which we did last year. Uh, so, right now, really, we're just planning to go down to Arizona and Utah and go to a lot of、uh, national parks we've never been to before.、Uh, hopefully, catching the snow season in Colorado, too. I heard it's ending in April. So, yeah, best of luck to us driving down south.、Um, not the real south, but south of Seattle、uh, to experience a different lifestyle there. Best trip in my mind is a trip we took on to go into Brainbridge Island.、Um, it's just across the bridge from Seattle, and we decided to just go there、uh, because we were going to drive down to LA and we already drove the other route through the cities and highways.、Uh, so, yeah, we, it was really just a whim of thought, and we just went into the islands all. Close by Seattle's.、Um, and what's cool about those islands is that they have a lot of parks, so it was really easy for us to get water.、Uh, there was barely anybody on that island、uh, during the weekdays because it's more like a weekend travel spot.、Uh, we were able to snatch some pretty good parking spaces、uh, where no one would look at us and Feel like we're suspicious people. <laughs>、um, and really, we just had a blast there. It was really peaceful and calm.、Uh, we walked around a lot、um, and we tried out different food and really enjoyed the weather there as well. I like a peaceful trip, so to me, that was probably one of the best trips. Yeah, so remote work、uh, started for me actually way before the pandemic. And I got so comfortable waking up and working at my、uh, desk in my room that I never imagined wanting to go back to the office. And, you know, to this day, I, I don't ever want to go back to an office. Not because I don't like seeing people or anything like that. It's just I love the convenience of being able to wake up, you know, have coffee, whatever, and just get started on whatever I need to work on. And what's cool about doing that from the van is we can be parked, you know, national park or. You know, recently you see and I parked on a beach, and you know, you wake up, you just work, look out the window, and, and there's the waves. And I really think that's like an experience you can't get just working from home or definitely not in an office. And for me personally, I, I like working, you know, by myself and not really around other people.、Uh, I get kind of like 
uncomfortable having to do all the uh, you know office chit chat and whatever so definitely the van gives me that sense of security and freedom as well as just you know being able to do work whenever i want yeah definitely so van life uh you know to us is, is super amazing and all but i don't really think other people take it that way uh they might think you know that's too crazy for me i can't live in such a small space that might be dangerous all that stuff and i think a lot of that is probably from it challenges like the norms of society like living in a car isn't really what most people would want to do you know the standard way of doing things getting an apartment share a place with friends family whatever but um I would say try it out. Uh, C and I had our best time in Hawaii, probably living in a van. And it just gives you that freedom, that ability to do whatever you want, see any place at any time. And until you really try it, I feel like you can't really think about how that would feel just in your mind. So I think it's been pretty easy to adapt. Honestly, the biggest problem for me is getting used to the, the small space we have in here. Like bumping your head is pretty common for the first few nights. But um, other than that, uh, probably getting water and you know dumping the toilet <laughs> are the main two headaches um, and pretty much stuff we have to do every other day at the least. Uh, so when I give advice to people who are researching on vans, usually I focus on a few things. First of all, where are you going to work? Are you going to work in the van? Do you have a space to work in the van? Do you need to hang a monitor? Uh, second of all, is that do you need Wi-Fi? Do you want to go to somewhere that's super remote? Do you need Starlink? Um, third of all is, you know, how important it is for yourself to cook food. Uh, in the van and what kind of appliances do you use to cook food like we use air fryer uh, instant pot with a mix and if those things are truly crucial to your life and you know <laughs> we probably can't make a proper meal without those appliances um, you really need to find a van that the battery is good enough and big enough to handle those kind of heavy appliances if not you know, if that's not the case, you really don't need to pay that much money for a van like this. Um, truly, you know, uh, remote vans has a Friday series that have a lot less power. Uh, if personally I wasn't going for, you know, a, a home kind of filling lifestyle, but more so I had a much more simplistic lifestyle, um, you can go for a much cheaper van with much less battery, um, much easier setup um, that doesn't necessarily have much to do is how we're doing it here so yeah just don't look at videos and photos and feel like oh wow like i love this one must get this one but actually think back on how you usually behave how your life is usually set up and find one that's perfect for yourself uh i think you know we, we both you know i really looked at like a ton of different vans over uh course of probably two months or so and Honestly, I wasn't really that impressed with, with most of the ones that, that we had seen. Um, mainly because a lot of them, it's like, oh, here's a cool picture. Here's a cool like van tour. Um, and to me, they just weren't that cool. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but um, after seeing remote vans set up, especially with two workstations, uh, you know, I already said this multiple times, but all the monitors that you could set up uh, that really sold it for me because I couldn't imagine just having a van driving around and like sitting on the bed or whatever um, and doing nothing. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I guess what I'm trying to say is remote vans was more flexible for remote work than pretty much all the competitors that we looked at. And that was huge for us because we'd be working from this van. Uh, since you know both C and I do work remote, so that was a big one. Other than that, they they were super flexible in allowing us to kind of pick and choose what we liked, uh, like the design, what parts we wanted to to change. Um, they actually allowed us to uh, add a, I guess a home in one of the benches for for our bunny, and yeah, we have a pet bunny and. Uh, <laughs> He can live here in the van with us uh, pretty comfortably. 
and you know no other company in my opinion would have done that for us because they have their standard models and they're not gonna like change it up just for like you know me i guess but um those two things were, were the biggest for me definitely flexibility in design and all, all the accommodations for work yeah so i love the fact that the oasis comes really well equipped with uh power um it also has l tracks fitted all across the van and this has been really cool for us because we love watching tv uh, we love working from the van uh, that's where we spend a majority of our time uh, doing actually <laughs> um but it allows us to put up monitors, um, even smaller portable monitors, like really close to the bed to watch TV, uh, either above us or across from us. And you know, for most people you can think of it as like wall mounting your TV or having it on a TV stand or whatever. And this has been really cool because it allows pretty much any possibility of combinations um, on how you want to style your own van. And I think without it, we wouldn't have the flexibility that, you know, other companies would have uh, provided us. So that for us has been really awesome going with the Oasis. The other thing I mentioned earlier is the power. Um, some of the other models don't have nearly enough power for what we're trying to do. Uh, we love cooking in the Instant Pot, air fryer, um, all that sort of stuff uh, requires a lot of power, as you probably know. And also we work a lot on our laptops. Um, you know, from everything, we can pretty much do that all at once with the Oasis and, you know, that, that's really been amazing for us. The most often question I get um, from friends or colleague or family members is that you must really like outdoor experience, outdoor activities, right? That's why you got yourself into van life. Um, but I hate to admit, I can't say yes to that question. I have never really been an outdoor girl. I've never ever camped out until I got the van. Um, I barely stepped foot in national parks before this either. Um, so yeah, I think the answer disappoint them. <laughs> I think the answer also make them feel more intrigued as in why I am living a van. Uh, but for me, it's quite simple because I've always been a city girl. I rarely put myself in the space of nature and I was hoping that I can just drive to the nature when I have the urge to and not think about how burdensome it is to drive back home um <laughs> and it might sound kind of stupid but you know truly for me just like Dylan it's about convenience so if I can drive to a park park there get outside of my car door and uh, you know, the park is right in front of me and I get, come back to the car, my bed is right in front of me. I think, you know, it truly make my life a lot easier to take on the task of experiencing outdoor, which I've been loving it till now. Uh, but yeah, convenience is number one key. That's how I tell people and that's it. I think everyone who has a remote job um, should at least try working from a van, especially remote van, because it has so much electricity that you never need to worry about you're gonna run out of battery on any major appliances. Uh, but truly for me, I couldn't imagine myself doing remote work but stuck in one single apartment and sign a one-year lease, mainly because I know how I'm like <laughs> and I know um, when I'm remotely working in an apartment, most likely I'm just gonna spend the rest of my day watching TV in that same apartment, maybe because I got too used to the COVID lifestyle, um, but I really wanted to get outside of my door and be in a new place, experience new things, uh, especially when I'm in a remote work setting that doesn't require me to be in the same uh, office setting or the same city every single day. Um, so really the best part is to be able to open my van door and I'm already at a new place, stepping into a completely new experience. Um, so yeah, that's it. Remote vans is high tech, comfy and reliable. <laughs>